Hello everyone, so Derek here. Uh, as promised, here's a little tutorial on how to use Asana, the new project management system that we'll be using for our projects. Uh, when you first click on the link that you should have all gotten in, the, in an email, you're going to need to set up an account, so using your email and whatever password you want, and then when you open up, your page should look something similar to this. Uh, on the left, you should see a list of the different units. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it'll set up for you. I plan on it just showing your unit. So if you work with an ABLE, it'll just show ABLE, CPN, just CPN, etc. I'm not sure if it actually works that way, but that was the plan. So kind of explaining what you see on the left here, you'll see my picture and then Pam's little avatar. Basically, Pam and I have access to all the units right now. Uh, most of you should only have access to your own unit, but Pam and I kind of have administrative access over everyone. Then underneath that you see team conversations. This is where you would post if you want every if you want Pam and I to see it. I don't believe anybody else will get the notification other than Pam and I as you can see right here. So you'll type your message in here and then you'll press post and Pam and I will both be notified via email. Right here you'll see our team calendar. So this is basically my calendar right now. As you begin to fill in tasks that you assigned to me, which we will go over here in a second, it'll start populating this with your different tasks. So uh, if, for instance, Abel has a task they want me to do, say a special dinner, it'll show a little tab in orange to correspond with Abel, because Abel is in orange right now. So I know that that task is assigned to me from Abel. Similarly, if CPN or East Campus, if any of you decide to uh, assign me a task, which is this is where you will assign instead of via email now, uh, it will show in your color. So just kind of to give you kind of a walkthrough of what each page looks like, I'm going to go into Able Dining. And this is pretty consistent with what everyone's page project will look like. I've already divided into subheads so for a task say that you wanted within a specific week you'll put it under that given subhead so this is next week obviously then the week after that and so on and so forth don't worry about adding those subheads once we get to the bottom I'll do that as we get closer to that time so to add a task actually back up a little bit so to first to start off here on the top you'll see uh, conversations so these would be conversations that only go among those in the ABLE. So as you can see, Pam, Harry, Ann, and Bob will be notified if anybody writes within this posted setting. Similarly, CPN, if you were to go into CPN's conversations, maybe, you'll see that if anybody posts in these conversations, it'll go to Pam, Joel, Jane, and Marsha, as well as myself. So going back to ABLE, after conversations, we have a calendar. This would be the calendar of just Abel's tasks. So any tasks that Abel specifically assigns to me will show up here on the calendar. Same with Harper, Selick, any of the other projects you see here on the left. Progress is a little less important at this point. It may, be, may come into effect with some larger projects, but right now uh, we don't really have to worry about progress. And then files maybe I'll go over here in a second when I go into assigning a task but if you're attaching any files to your tasks they'll show up in here for me as well kind of as an archive in the top left hand corner the my tasks my tasks are kind of more for me right now all of the tasks that are assigned to me will show up in here so it'll make me make it easier for me to find them and then your inbox if you get an email via Asana any of those email notifications will also show in your inbox so you'll be able to see it there too. But going back to Able Dining, so to assign me a task, say you wanted to assign me holiday dinner which is next week. So you'll click on, you see this how these these different rows will kind of highlight and jump out. You click on that row and then you'll get this new page here to the right. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna assign me the task. I should already be in there. You're going to put the due date. This is the date that the, t the project is due or the, the night of the actual event. So in this example, holiday dinner, we'll have it on the 9th. So the due date is next Wednesday. Kind of keeping going up along the top here, none of these are really of much importance other than the paperclip, the attachments. 
For something like a holiday dinner where you'd want me to make maybe a menu poster or some type of poster, what you're going to do that you already have typed out, I know you guys usually type these things out ahead of time and then send it to me with all the information. If it is something like a Word doc, you're going to press the attachments, you're going to attach from your computer, you're going to find that file, and you're going to attach it directly to the task. So it's all within one system where I can find it, and if I have any questions, I can contact you via the system, which I will talk about in a second. Okay, so then to name your task. So we'll just call this one Holiday Dinner as an example. So as you can see, it'll show up here, and then it'll also show up on the calendar when I finally create this task. I probably won't do that just so you guys aren't getting weird email messages right now, but it will show up there. Then in the description, this is where I want you to describe what you, what you need from me. So for this, you'll probably need three menu posters, probably napkin dispensers, inserts, excuse me, and maybe digital board, board signage. Okay, and you can go into as much detail as you want here in the description box. Then down below you can see comments. So this is where I would write a comment if I have a question. What did you mean by X, Y, Z? Um, stuff like that. So this is where I, this makes it a little bit easier for me to contact you. I can also attach like a draft in this comment section. So you'll kind of see it unfold here in this empty space. So this is where I'll attach a, a draft and then I'll leave a comment like, please give me your comments on this draft. So this is an easy way to kind of go back and forth that way. So there's less errors on my end, uh, as well as maybe an error that you might've made that I missed or vice versa. So that's where that, that'll kind of show up and you will get an email notification uh, if you are in ABLE or if I would happen to do this in CPN, Harper, Selleck, everyone would get an email notification that I left a comment and or a draft. That's kind of the nitty gritty of it. Um, if for some reason you need more tasks here, say you have three tasks next week, you'll click this add task button and then you can drag that new task wherever you want. So say these are all full and you need another task in the week of the 28th, you just drag and drop and then you can begin assigning and all that good stuff. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email and I'll do my best to answer them. One quick tip I might give, uh, rather than having you know all of your sections here, I'm not sure what all shows up for you, an easy way to make it jump to the top is you see this little star next to your, your unit name. If you click that star, your unit name should show up right underneath my dashboard here, so it'll always be on top. And then when you click in that, you're ready to go. So that's one easy way to make sure that it's always accessible. So like I said, kind of a quick nitty gritty little tutorial on how to use Asana. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email or give me a call and I'll do my best to walk you through it, uh, help you with any issues you might have. But other than that, have a good day. Uh, I do have one assignment for you, kind of a quick little assignment. I'd like you to go into each of you to go into your respective units and start a conversation. Just click on the conversation piece, like I said, so you'll go into Able if you're from the Able unit. Click Conversations and just type in here something like, I'm, I, I'm using Asana, I'm on Asana, I've got it, maybe a question or something like that, just so I know that everyone's kind of off and running. So. With that, have a good day, and I will see you soon.